Okay. Hey guys. Good morning. It is Thursday the 19th of December. Um, I got a lot of mail here. <laughs> I haven't showed any mail all week, I don't think. And I've gotten some cards and a couple packages. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know, all, all this week. This is all of it. So I wanted to show it, so I'm going to get it hung up. Because I want to show you guys a clip later today of all the cards hanging up. There's so many, and I'm so excited. I constantly stop and reread them. Um, and just look at them, and they're just so cool. <laughs> but uh, I got a lot here, so let's just see. Oh, this is so cute. This one is from Tanya. And she is from Texas. Look at this card. It says Meowy Christmas. <laughs> that is so cute. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not a huge cat person. Like, I would choose dogs any day over cats. But I don't hate cats. I just prefer dogs. But Devin's a cat person. And my in-laws are cat people. They have, like... I see Mama, Fred. The two little black ones. Lucky. Shaniqua. They have six cats? They had seven. And one of them disappeared. And then they've had different ones on and off. <laughs> Alright, this next story is from Lama Mama Kayla. She lives in Louisiana, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> she sent me a card from her and from Phoebe. So it's a picture of her and Phoebe. <laughs> Thank you, Kayla. Uh, this next one is from Kim, and she lives in Kentucky. This is a homemade card. Oh, she's, she's got a channel. Metal Scrapping Chick or something like that. Let me look. Yeah. Metal Scrapping Chick on YouTube. And she sent me a homemade card, which I love homemade cards. I love every card. But homemade cards are really cool, too. It's, you can just tell it's homemade just by how heavy the envelope was, you know. And look at this card. Okay, that's the front of it. Really beautiful. And then it just goes whoosh. <laughs> and it unfolds. That is so cool. I want to do stuff like this so bad. I'm just not talented at all with this. I've tried so many times to get into paper crafting. And I'm just not good at it. <laughs> so I think I'll just stick to fiber. But thank you so much, Kim. I love that card. It's so pretty. And then this one came from... Melissa. And she has a channel too. She lives in Virginia. She, her channel is Crocheting in Agreement. I really like her channel. She doesn't post as often as she used to, but she needs to. If you're watching this, Melissa. <laughs> but she sent me this really pretty card. A really pretty tree. And the tree is like... Not flat with the card. <laughs> and it's glittery. It's really pretty. And inside of that, she sent some homemade candy. I haven't tried it yet. I just... I kept it all together. <laughs> but I used to make homemade candy all the time. Back, I was... I used to go to a Pentecostal church. Um, when I was a teenager, early 20s. And uh, me and one of my best friends there at the time... Um, we made hard candy and suckers and chocolate suckers and chocolate candy and caramels and all kinds of stuff like that, um, to sell at our church when people, when other churches would come visit during the, um, the revivals and what else were they called? I can't remember what the other thing was, but we're just, you basically just go around to everybody, every different church, like every different weekend you're at a different church, just, uh, fellowshipping all that. And, uh, we would sell them for our church fund because at the time they were raising money to build a new building and we would every time we'd go to a new church we'd take a bunch of stuff with us and people would buy it from us and it was a lot of fun making candy these ones we're gonna dig into these later i don't know if i'll give jesse one because he might hurt himself with it but um devin will like them too all right i got some more cards today excuse me i just had to edit that out i was coughing this one is from my great aunt on my dad's side uh to jesse she sent him this card. It's kind of sparkly and then it just opens up to a big Santa scene. She wrote the note on the back of it. Because <laughs> there's nowhere to write it. But that's from my great aunt on my dad's side. And this is also from her, but to me and Devin. This is really pretty. Like a rustic um, card. <laughs> and she lives in Tennessee, by the way. She lives, she lives in East Tennessee and we live in Middle Tennessee. Alright, this one is from Yaya from Kentucky. Now, she sent me a letter in her card, and I'll address that in just a second. This is the card she sent me. Really pretty candle and ornaments and lights. And uh, in your letter, you say that you, um, you ask if I have a stitch marker 
tutorial I actually do the only the reason you probably didn't see it is because I had a lot of my videos on private while I was reviewing them to make sure you know for the new guidelines and all that and uh, but it should be back up now if you go on my channel hmm, I'll link it below <laughs> I'll link it below because I can't remember when I posted it it was this year sometime but um, I will link that below for you to check out and uh, I hope it's good <laughs> uh, I'm not that good at making tutorials and um, maybe depending on what all the copa stuff happens i might start making crochet tutorials this year for my patterns um if you know copa doesn't make everything go crazy i'm not too worried about it but uh we'll see okay this next card is from melissa in florida this is such a cute card <laughs> oh so cute and then i got another homemade one and this one has a really nice envelope like it's really thick i don't know if she made that but it is from Debbie in Georgia, and it's Fala Llama, and the llama is layered, so it's thicker. All right, hold on a second. But it's a homemade card. Really pretty. All right, this next one is from Sandra. She lives here in Tennessee. She sent me this really cute Santa with presents. And then the last card I got in an envelope is from Deborah in Canada. I guess Ontario, Ontario, Ontario. Oh God, I can't say it. Ontario, Ontario. <laughs> this is a really cute one. Little snowman giving a squirrel a present. So cute. All right, so that's all my uh, cards that I've gotten this week. So now I can write where they're from and the years in them and hang them up. And I'll show you guys that later. Let me go get Jesse something to eat real fast. All right, I'm gonna get him a snack. All right, I got three packages today. This first one is from Amber, one of my bestest friends. <laughs> she lives in South Dakota. She's also got a YouTube channel called Ooh All Crochet. And you need to go check it out because she's super close to a thousand subbies and she needs to get over that. So go check her out and subscribe to her. But me and Amber talk every single day, pretty much. So she sent me a card first. It's super cute. It's glittery. And she signed it right now. Okay, so I can put it over there. She sent Jesse one of those... Um, Play pack things <laughs> and then she sent me this really cool bag I don't know if she bought it at a craft fair because it's got a tag on it that says that it's handmade by Pam's crafty creations but I've been wanting a bag like this forever and they have them sometimes at like Hobby Lobby and Walmart and at craft fairs and I see them online and stuff but it's like a gift bag it's like a canvas bag so she sent it to me so that's the top of it it's really long it's so cute and it's a drawstring bag. I can't pull it. I have to like focus because it's canvas. You know, it's hard to do. But I'm going to put some, probably some of Jesse's stuff in it. Or I might just put it up and wait next year and then specifically fill it up with something for uh, Jesse or Devin. That's so cute. I was so excited when I opened it. And she said in her, she said in her note that she, of like all people, she knew that I would appreciate it. And that is so true. I love it. Thank you so much, Amber. <laughs> The next one I got was from Linda at My Self Care Studios, and she just met, commented yesterday and asked if I'd gotten it yet, so I did get it <laughs> today. And this is the card she sent me. Very cute. And she also sent me a couple of um, goodies. She sent Jesse a few things, but he's already ripped into it. She sent him some stickers and some pencils and a bookmark and a little maze toy and a glow bracelet, but he's they're all in the living room and he's playing with them. So she sent me an ornament from Peachtree City, Georgia. I'm assuming that's where she's from. <laughs> but she already wrote on the back of it and everything, so I don't have to do that. But it came with a little thing explaining it, but here's the ornament. Thank you so much. And then she also sent me a pair of socks that are um, knee socks. And they light up. <laughs> and on the bottom of them, it says, let's chill. Let me see if I can get it. She said she sent them to me so the next time I'm just chilling at home, I can wear these and chill in my chilling socks. That's really cool. Thank you so much. I didn't eat it too, by the way. I just, obviously. <laughs> okay, and the last package I got was from Crochet Rossetti. This one was pretty surprising because I wasn't expecting it, first of all. Well, actually, let's see here. She's from Massachusetts. This is the only package that was on my informed delivery the other two wasn't even on there 
Um, so I wasn't expecting the other two. I was expecting this, but you know, I had no idea what it was, obviously. But um, so she sent me a really pretty card. Really cute with the winds. Look at this one over here. He looks like a gentleman. <laughs> but um, she also sent me little um, stitch markers. And then this was surprising that she sent this to me because I know these cost a lot, and I'm hoping she got these on a good sale because <laughs> she sent me a set of clover or Morris. And I was surprised to open it because I was like, oh my gosh, because I've looked at these at like Joanne's before and they're like expensive. So, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> I can't wait to try them out. I've never tried these kind of hooks before. I won. Let me straighten. There you go. Now that one's back where it goes. <laughs> but I've seen a lot of people talk about these and a lot of people claim these are their favorite hooks. So I'm excited to try them out and uh, see what I think. <laughs> but I'm hoping so bad that you didn't spend a whole lot of money on these because I've seen them before and they're pretty high. But anyways, thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything that you send us. Um, like I always say, you don't have to send us anything. I, I just really wanted cards. <laughs> but obviously everything extra is fun too. And I love the ornaments. I've been loving getting the ornaments. I can't wait to in the future have that tree I always talk about. That's just homemade. And it's going to be covered with all these ornaments from all these different people. From all these different places. And it's going to be really cool. But i got to hop off here because i got to go wake Devin up. He was sleeping in today. He should work Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I think those are the last three days he's going to work. He was supposed to work Sunday. But I think they canceled Sunday. So he's got three more nights to work. And then he'll be off for 15 days. Somewhere around there. <laughs> and which I'm excited about. But I got to finish sewing today. I got all the project bags done. Except the ones with dark color liners. I have to close their liners. The turning hole. I went to switch to darker thread. But I got all the project bags done. And I'm working on the notion pouches. I got to put the zippers in and then close them all. I think I'll be able to finish all these today and probably get them up in the shop tonight. Um, I realize they're probably not going to sell really well right now because of the holidays, which is fine. But I want to go ahead and get them up anyways. Just in case, because, you know, you never know. Someone might get money for Christmas and want to buy a project bag. But um, I want to try to sell a bunch of these because there's something I want to buy Devin. And he doesn't want me to buy it because it costs a lot. But I want to buy it secretly. And it'll be a Christmas gift. But even if it's after Christmas, it'll be okay. Um... I want to buy it without him knowing because <laughs> then once I already have it he can't you know he can't say anything about it and uh so that's that's the reason I'm making these bags because I wasn't planning on sewing much in December but I want to buy Devin something <laughs> and um I mean you know, he's got a lot going on right now and I just want to get him something special but I'm gonna hop off here because I gotta wake Devin up and I gotta put some clothes in the dryer I was waiting to film this before I put clothes in the dryer so I'll be sewing off off and on all day and then I got to get all the photos taken and get the bags up in the shop and hopefully they'll start selling. Hey guys, I wanted to hop on real fast just to let you know that I updated the shop. I put all these bags on there. There are 36 bags and bag sets uh, up right now. A bunch of random prints. I was just going through my stash and was trying to use up all the pieces of material I could before the new year so that I can go shopping and get a bunch more. So head over and check it out. Alright, go. Oh, come on. Quit being a butthead. You were just singing it. Ooh, ee, oh, ah, ah. Ching, ching. Ooh, what a bing, bang. Come here, I want to show my daddy. Just say it. Sing it. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Ding, ding. Wah, 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 bing, bing. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Ting, ting, wah, 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 bing, bing. <laughs> Good job. That's how much I could go far.